You can use the IB Expert Database Inside feature to repair databases. Database Inside reads the database file directly without a server. This allows extraction of data and or metadata from corrupted databases even if it is impossible to do this using a normal connection to the database. The result depends on how heavily the database is corrupted. Database Inside processes files in read-only mode, so files remain unchanged. Here we have a customer database which is corrupt. When attempting to connect to the database, an error message appears which reads Bad checksum error on database page 262. It is not even possible to perform a successful backup, even without the garbage collection, or with or without any other options. Here, one of the system tables is damaged, so it's a pretty serious problem. Even using GFIX to validate the database is not successful. We can attempt here to use GFIX, even that is not successful. So, we can either discard the database or use the IB Expert tool Database Inside. When starting Database Inside, an explorer is opened so that you can select the corrupt database. The selected database is opened and loaded accordingly. The All Pages page displays a list of database pages in natural order. Page types to be displayed here are customizable on the Options page. Suspicious pages Pages marked as allocated with unknown page type or wrong checksum appear highlighted in red. Important, there is no Firebird server or tool started or involved here in any way. IB Expert's internal structures read and load the database content. This allows you to view and repair databases that are otherwise irreparable. By the way, you can double-click on a page or press Enter to open the data page in a separate window if you wish to take a closer look at it. Here we can view information regarding the construction of the data structures. And here we can see that page 262, just as Firebird has already told us, is corrupt. Taking a look at the statistics, we can view further header information, page inventory information, transaction inventory information, this information is, however, technically unimportant for this example. What is important is the Extract Data page. Using this menu item here, we can choose to create a new database. A working server instance is necessary in this case, or a script, and both can be created to include data or metadata, or a combination of both. We'll select here the Fiber 2.5 server and use this connection string and write everything into a new database. We'll use the relevant embedded Fiber client. We could, of course, use a normal Fiber client. This would then run as a client via a remote connection. To speed the whole thing up, we'll check the option Use Execute Block for Better Performance and, just in case the database already exists, we'll check the option Drop Target Database if exists. We'll then use the Right Mouse Button option Select All Tables to extract all tables. Now we are just a mouse click away from saving the database. Now you can see that IB Expert is opening the Firebird database in binary form. We are not touching any Firebird instance at all. This way, we have the possibility to bypass all of Firebird security mechanisms and internal structures. IB Expert protocols the export process, dealing which data objects, for example, cannot be recreated without errors. This is vital in order to determine which parts of the database still function correctly and where any problems lie. In this case, this database could be saved up to almost 100%. As the original database used here is almost 1.5 GB in size, it will take another couple of minutes to complete. So, let's speed the whole process up a little. Now, the metadata objects are created, and this metadata is displayed by IB Expert as a summarized evaluation at the end. IB Expert shows you where it was not possible to execute certain items, for example, which metadata objects could not be processed correctly. All commands executed here are included in the IBE $DBInside $Errors table. This can be opened separately from IB Expert's Database Explorer once you have registered the repaired database for use in IB Expert. 
You can then normally trace and carry out any necessary repair work, for example going to the indicated location in certain objects, or trace to, for example, certain UDFs in the UDF library that are referred to here in our example which are not usable. You can see quite clearly the list of operations that were successful, along with those that were unsuccessful. Here you can see the error list. Now we've detected the source of the problem, it's not too difficult to repair the database, which would otherwise, using Firebird or other external tools, be irreparable. To finish off, we'll open the repair database to show you that it really is a full copy of the original database filled with the original data content. Please note, currently only single file databases are supported. Interbase databases with object names lengths of over 31 chars are not supported yet. The Database Inside feature has been tested with Firebird 1.5 to 2.5 databases created with Firebird for Windows. This is just one of the really useful features included in the IB Expert full customer version. If you do not yet own your own full IB Expert Developer Studio customer version, you can purchase this in our online shop. And if, having identified the source of your problem, you have difficulty repairing your corrupt data, Take advantage of our remote support offers. Further information can be found on our website at www.ibexpert.com. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial. All topics presented here are also documented in detail on our website. <music>